Hi, how's it going? Um, today I'm gonna talk about uh, the improvisation in dumb dim scales or dominant dim diminished scales. Here in Brazil we call dumb dim. I don't know out of Brazil, but uh, if you watch the live yesterday, I've done it yesterday, uh, I told about the altered scale I applied in, uh, in a, uh, a harmonic sequence that's found on the theme Amor Até o Fim of Gilberto Gil and also I've uh, I, I had some some person uh, uh, that that told me if I could improvise in different in different uh, styles and I did it and today I'm gonna do the same but with this with this uh, Dom Jim scale all right and uh, question do you know the difference between the altered scale and the Dom Jim scale this is an a important thing to know because they are very similar but they have uh, they have uh, one, one or two differences that's the Dom Jim scale has one note more It has eight notes because the dimin diminished scale has eight notes, and uh, and the altered has just seven, like the made the uh, almost all scales. Um, and we have one difference. The main difference is in the sickest. <laughs> Because the chord, the uh, um, the Dom Jim uh, chord has the major sixth or major thirteenth. If you have doubts about tensions, how to play chords, and uh, just just write me in the comments, I'm gonna give you a more basic class about tensions. But the main characteristic of this uh the scale is the this 13th combined with different ninths uh, flat ninth or or sharp ninth um what else we can the re reminding the altered scale we have uh, the flat 13th uh, and before we have the uh, before the flat 13th we have the uh, sharp 11th and in this scale this scale we have the perfect fifth it's it's the other difference so true difference to be clear um the Dom Jim scale has the perfect fifth and the most important note is the uh major thirteenth. Um and the in the chord of the altered chord or the altered scale we don't have the fifth in the scale and we have the flat thirteenth, alright? Um to study it, uh, I'm gonna take that sequence of Amor Até o Fim, that it's a, it's a, a circle of fifths with E7, A7, D7 and G7. And we are going to start, if you have done the, the, the exercise I've showed you as yesterday, um, you're gonna you're gonna realize you're gonna realize the the that 
almost notes necessary, like ninths and uh, sharp eleventh, we sang yesterday. And today we are gonna sing, we start by this, the thirteenth, because that's the note in, that g, the creates difference between these scales, all right? So let's sing the major thir 13th of each chord. Ba, 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 ba. Again. If you have difficulties, do the exercise first, playing the note after you sing. Repeat a lot of times, and in some moment you are going to to be capable of singing without any help. For example, you are gonna. Remind, for example, you play the second chord and you don't remind, you play for to know, but the next you know, uh, I'm sorry, the next you uh, you sing, ah, this I don't remind, I tried, but I and you play, show the answers first if you if it's difficult for you. Make uh, make the other exercise with the answers, and uh, after repeating a lot of times, you're gonna you you won't need the answers. All right. So this is the this is the flat. Uh, this is the thirteen ma major thirteenth. All right. Uh, let's come. Uh, let's return to the other tensions. The, uh, let's make the sharp eleventh. Let's do the sharp ninth. Let's do the flat ninth. After that, we are going to gonna start creating phrases with these notes all right remember that in this scale we have the fifth and you don't need to play uh, with tempo with a, uh, a measure you can you can break the measures and and play uh, comfortably this phrase
repeating a lot of times to get more comfortable, then I'm gonna put a style, all right? But not yet. Let's try to do inside a bossa nova. That's more slow. Other th important thing, uh, it's important to improvising the triad that creates that chord. That's in this case uh, we have the triad of C sharp C sharp major. Let's improvise in in other style. After that, and the triad of A. Thank you. 
that we are going through the scale of G, D. That's all of them. After that, the trial of E. Note that I am not singing if you didn't see the live before. Sometimes I use the, the voice, not true. Uh, when I'm playing the scale inside, uh, I'm singing the notes to create uh, more precise melodies. But when I'm uh, playing arpeggios, they are very difficult to, to tune. I don't have tech vocal technique, so I'm just using my voice to, to help in the rhythm, to help in the style, to, to, to make to give me the feel of that style, all right? That's why it's not precise. I hope uh, my voice is not bothering you, all right? Let's, uh, I'm, I'm, try, I'm gonna try again to, don't, uh, don't make so much noise. Let's return to the other cards. better this phrase
so I've created phrases, different phrases. I could do this in samba also. Now I, I could do the same thing in samba. Uh, So it goes, all right. So um, this is the way I'm working, uh, and sometimes uh, I change scales because when when you are focusing on your attention to do just one thing in your in, in improvise, sometimes your mind is gonna is gonna forget the exercise exercise and and. Uh, and we'll start to improvise freely. And there is no problem when this happens when you're studying. But try always to return to the, your your focus. Alright? Sometimes I, I have played the altered scale because of the study of yesterday. And one thing I, I suggest also is to work inside the the different scales to give your ear the capability of recognizing the difference of both. For example, I'm gonna play the one chorus with the altered. And one chorus with the the dom d and one chorus with the altar again You alternate, I'll turn the, the both scales, you're gonna be more aware of the sound you are searching. All right, so uh, working on this scale, uh, I received a, ca a question also that uh, some people doesn't know how to, to organize these studies because they are a lot of things together that happens. I'm, I talk about rhythm, I talk, I talk about different scales of uh, modern uh, modern language, um, about uh, traditional language in Brazilian music. And I'm preparing for you a course that uh, we're gonna give you a plan of what you study. They are th there are a lot of subjects, but uh, we we can create some uh, some steps to help you uh, what to choose. When do, do I start uh, the the study? When I change the subject? Because a lot of a lot of subjects here are you can explore uh, the uh, of the the whole life but the thing is uh, to know what to study what's important in that moment of your playing and uh, this this curse is preparing is preparing 
you to understand the Brazilian music with a method, with a way of working. And if you are interested about it, just write me. I'm I'm preparing, and in 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 a few time we're gonna have some some classes and and something for you that are interested in this work okay so that was it thanks for watching i'm here every day talking about the brazilian accent improvisation if you don't know what uh, what is an uh, accent an accent uh, every every people from different parts of the world that talks the, in the same language that speaks the same language they have different different ways of uh, of saying the same words. And one thing I, I, I think about music is music is a universal language, but each country, each each place in, in place in the world has its different pronouns. And a lot of people I see out of Brazil trying to play Brazilian music with a, uh, with the wrong accent. It's like uh, using the right, the wrong words. Uh, for example, here in Brazil we speak Portuguese and in Portugal they also. And not every time uh, they, we have the same word, words, but the sounds are different. The sounds, there is some sounds that are Portuguese, we rec recognize. And if you want to play Brazilian music in an authentic way, I invite, I invite you to watch these lives for getting more knowledge about it, okay? The, the, the way we think music. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow from our lives and quick tips. Bye-bye.